Hello, welcome back. We are approximately halfway through my Master System collection and I thought we would get that bit over and done with. Uh, I've actually bought a couple new Master System games actually between the last time I did one of these and now so we were meant to be doing all of these in alphabetical order but uh, a couple of these had I had them at the time would have gone in the previous video but they're gonna I'm gonna shove them in at the start of this one all right so for example uh, we're going to start off with the Master System version of Altered Beast. Aren't you in for a treat? You know what Altered Beast is, right? It's that really early beat-em-up where you become really buff men and then eventually turn into animals. Hang on, let's just make sure the settings are correct before we start unlike the last time yep because even though these are all PAL games I'm going to be forcing them all to run at 60 Hertz because there's no there are no PAL optimized master system games okay whoop did I just hang on hit reset 1988. Yeah. Woof. Let's change this volume a little bit. So yeah, if you thought the Mega Drive version of Altered Beast was a bad game, you ain't seen shit. This port is fucking horrible. Oh wait, hang on a sec. What's going on with this sound? Hang on, so if I go... S no. Core options. Oh, that's why. FM synthesis is on. No, I want it to play the PSG music first, which I think actually sounds better. I think this game sounds better with the standard PSG sound chip. Yeah, look at that low, low fidelity lightning thunder sound. Look at, it's really herky-jerky. And Controls are stiff and awkward. I'm fucking. This happened. You get juggled. Look, fuck off. Stop it. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm. I'm just dead. I couldn't do anything. Again, it's happening again. Stop it. Power up. You jump by pressing both A and B at the same time, which is terrible. Oh, these motherfuckers. Get away from me, bats. Look, look, look at how he walk. He just sort of juts across the screen. Listen, the Master System is not the most... Fuck! Stop! Moving! Stop! Um, there's no invulnerability period in this game. You just... You get juggled. Which sucks. <laughs> Fuck off! No, seriously, fucking stop. <laughs> ah! You're just gonna walk 
off. Oh shit! Got no hit points left. I wanted to show you the um, the transformation sequence, but it's that might not happen because I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm dead. And that has got to be some of the most just unpleasant colour combinations just then. Pink and bright green. Alright, so let's go to core options, turn on FM sound, and then reboot the game. already sounds worse. Mm. You just gotta know where they're going to pop up and when. Power up! This animation is terrible. <laughs> fuck! 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 Stop! <laughs> you just get caught and you're just screwed. Forward, you bastard. Hmm. Fuck! Stop it! <laughs> yep! We might even fight a boss this time, my god. Oh god, this just, just, the movement is so terrible. It's like, if you thought the Mega Drive version is famously considered like a bad game, like, hopefully what I'm showing you here is giving you perspective. Just random white noise. Does the same trick work on this version of the boss as it does in the Mega Drive version? Probably. Oof. Oof. Nope. You die a lot quicker in this version. Oof. same trick does not work in this version of the game. I'll give it that. Excellent. Yeah, anyway. That's Altered Beast. It's a fucking terrible Master System game. <laughs> Kind of a bad Mega Drive game, it is an atrocious Master System game. And honestly, I don't think that's the Master System's fault. I think that was just a really bad port. Anyway, moving on from a good sorry, from a bad Master System port to a good one. This is Lemmings.
by Cygnosis. This, I hear, is a pretty good version of Lemmings. It's a lot better than the NES version, apparently. So, hang on, settings, make sure it's stuck. I don't trust it to keep my settings now. Okay. This uh, does not have an FM soundtrack. Ooh, fun. Hmm. Oh, I'll go. Let's go with one player. Just dig. Number of lemmings, 10% to be saved. Release rate 50 times 5 minutes. Rating fun. That's right, fun is the difficulty level, not the, uh... Okay, it's... this guy. Both the, um... Mega Drive and Master System versions of Lemmings are... pretty good versions. Like, the Sega versions of Lemmings were, I think among the best um, among the best console ports the NES version is kind of atrocious I mean it's playable but it has fucking horrendous slowdown like more than five lemmings on screen and the game just slows to a crawl um, And I want to say um, the Super Nintendo version of Lemmings looks really good. I think it's again it it, it it's got you know the most colours whatever, but I think again that also suffers from slowdown, not nearly as badly as the NES version. But yeah, once you get about a dozen or so Lemmings on screen, you you start to see it chug. But whereas. I think the Mega Drive version, you, you can get quite a few on screen before, um... Oh, okay, so... Can I just hold down the button? I can, excellent. Oh! I could just hold down the button. It's okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, that's weird. There we go. So far, this hasn't shown any signs of slowing down yet. Then again, these are the early days. Okay. Okay, you stop. You go down here. Speed up the release rate of Lemmings. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's holding up alright. We've got 20 Lemmings on screen and there's no slowdown at all, which is nice. Fairly good 
job. Um, converting the music for this sound chip. All right, so now we don't. I don't think we can actually. Can we actually? Uh, no, I think once you attach a skill to a lemming, you can't cancel it, which is a shame. So a lot of the levels, you you just can't rescue all of the lemmings. Miners and climbers. Okay. He's going to dig down. the release rate a little bit. I think that's the last one. I like Lemmings. Lemmings is one of those like chill out games. I'm not a fan of Lemmings 2 though, I think Lemmings 2 is a bit... Like, the skills don't make much sense to me in Lemmings 2, I always just prefer the basic, you know... Climber, Miner, Blocker, Digger, Builder... You know? The lemmings look good, they animate quite smoothly. Dig through this shit. I think we've released all of them. Okay. So a lot of people don't realise the um, the plus and minus in this game is not game speed. It's used to um, increase or decrease the release rate of the lemmings that as they come out the door. It doesn't. A lot of people think, oh, it's the game speed. Like, no, no, it doesn't actually control the game speed at all. There we go. Hundred percent. Kind of just want to play Lemmings now. Kind of just want to play Lemmings. Okay, we we'll do one more level. We'll do one more level. We have to sacrifice a Lemming for this. I 
remember correctly, we can put multiple skills onto a lemming if it's certain skills. So we can turn a guy into a blocker just as he gets close to this wall and then make him into a, a bomb. At least that's how it works in the other versions. Yep, still works. That's a very easy way to make sure you get this. Otherwise, you. I used to try and have to think, oh, you've got to time it. You've got to wait for them to reach a certain point and try and guess where they've got to be so in five seconds they'll be by the wall. But no, just turn them into a blocker. They're still coming out. Is a good version of Lemmings. Lemmings came out for everything at some point. Like, I want to say there are versions of Lemmings for things that maybe should not have had versions of Lemmings. I want to say there was, oh God, there was probably a Commodore 64 version of Lemmings. Possibly even a ZX Spectrum version. Anyway, that's, that's enough Lemmings, otherwise I'll just sit here and play Lemmings all night. That runs just fine. Lemmings, good game. Okay, uh, what's this? Ooh, here we go. We looked at Robocop vs. The Terminator on the Mega Drive a little while ago. So, why don't we check out the Master System port? I remember this being kind of okay. Yep. Bethesda Softworks. easy for now. Thank you for your cooperation. I love that little sound. That little sound bite there. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your cooperation. Looking for trouble? Looking for trouble. A button to shoot, B button, sorry, A button to jump, B button to shoot. And we've got, I think, eight way shooting, no, no, seven way shooting. You, ca you can't shoot directly below, you can only shoot in downwards, downward diagonals. Robocop's legs animate quite nicely in this version. Again, just like the Mega Drive version, uh, enemies fucking just explode in a cloud of viscera. Which is amazing. Just like they're a balloon filled with blood or something. slow down. Sit, got lasers. Lasers always good. Whoop. Fuck off lady. Come on, 
go back up and get that health now, actually. Ugh. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, it's spawned. That's a shame. Oh, well. Come on, you motherfucker. Gotcha. Okay. I need to find some health. Like how he switches back to his pistol. Well, the Robocop moves faster horizontally when he's moving arm over arm than when he walks. I've always found that funny. Aha! That's what I wanted. Right, boss time. There's this dude here, and he's dead. You're terminated. That runs just fine. Yep, Master Some version of Robocop vs. Terminator. Runs just fine. Ooh, it's got a cool black label instead of the standard red label. Alright, what have we got? Okay. Next game, this is a shooter. This is Scramble Spirits. This game's okay. It's not bad. Right, settings, four options. Turn off FM, and we'll look at that a bit later. interesting because uh, it um, switches from like a, a far away view to like a close-up view depending on what part of the level you're on. It's got weird like mid-mission loads. Whoop. Fuck. <laughs> Bleh. Oh, come on. Wow. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Can I please just get... <laughs> Let me get a little bit better than this. Is it because I'm used to playing it at 50 hertz, so it, everything runs a little bit slower at 50, so it makes the game easier. Perhaps that's why I'm sucking, yeah. So when I go attack this aircraft carrier, yes, that's meant to be an aircraft carrier, the game will stop and will basically will zoom in to get like a closer view. It does this several times. Fuck. So you can't actually, I don't think you can actually die when you, in this mode. Although I won't try not to risk it too much. This game has um, simultaneous two player as well, so if you want to play co op with a friend, you can, which is honestly not that common the mass system. Not a lot of games make great use of uh, the two controller ports on the console, the mass system. I mean, you know, there are standouts, but I feel like a lot of games that are traditionally have a two-player mode tend to be one player only on the mass system. Because the extra resources it would take 
the system to render both characters on screen would be considered unacceptable. Okay. Oh yeah, check this out. This um this boss is not moving smoothly. It's it's um it's doing that weird judder, which indicates it's not a sprite, it's actually a background layer. It's made from background tiles, which is how they're, why it's moving the way it is, even though the plane and the bullets are moving smoothly. I don't think the Master System can even draw sprites that big. Alright, here we go. There's an easy way to do this. You hide in the corner and you just shoot them. You can just do this, it doesn't matter. Uh oh. Fuck. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can I destroy one of these already, please? Oh no, we've got continues. Okay, good. Okay. We've got one. The others can't be far behind. Again, I wouldn't say better, I would say different. That's pretty good, actually. I'll give it that. Alright. Alright, Scramble Spirits. Got a pretty good FM music. Oh, this, the starting area of this level is brutal. Oh, fuck hell. I don't know what it is. Am I just not seeing the bullets properly or. I don't understand. Spawning on screen, the sprite flicker is immense. Ah! Yeah, this game's got pretty bad sprite flicker. I can only, I can't, I can only imagine how bad it gets in the two-player. 
fucking go. Stop. Stop it. Why do you need an aircraft to transport aircraft? You need to get the plane somewhere, just have the planes fly there. This whole, oh, we need a transport blimp for our fucking planes is ridiculous. a lot of attention. Oh god, a little bit ooh. Fuck. Okay. Come on, just die. Okay, one oof, just burst of static. sound for Scramble Spirits. Yeah. That game's okay. Next one's a banger. How about some Sega chess? That's right, Sega put out a chess game. Part of the image is getting cut off the left hand side there. Left is not cropped. Part of that intro animation actually made it into the overscan area, which is surprising. This game has quite a bit of um, voice work, by the way. It's pretty good. On. Go with two two computers. Uh, you know what? No, let's go me versus the computer. Right. So we can. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can have a 2D or a 3D board. Yeah, do that. <laughs> and all the speech is terrible. It's super low fidelity in a way that kind of sounds rad. And hang on, is it is it this that's doing it? Hang on, let's. I think it might be... 
OBS that's actually trimming the far left corner off here. Hang on. It is. There we go. Alright. So let's see if we can. Settings. Video. Width and height. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, or I can go to go to the back to the two D board. What can I do? I can rotate the board. So I can see from their perspective. But I'm still the same player. Promote piece. Go to options. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that animation's going to kill me. Let's go to the 2D board and see if that speeds the animation up at all. Whoop, wrong one. I want to go here. I've never been very good at chess. I understand the game, but the whole, oh, you've got to try and think like five moves ahead all the time just annoys me. Fuck this guy. Shit. Well, I'm gonna put you in check, bitch. Check. You gotta move your fucking queen now. Check it out. You're still in check. Fuck! Okay! Wow! Alright. Whatever. That's Sega Chess. What's this one? Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good game. This is ooh, the original Shinobi, which is far superior to that piece of shit we looked at last time. The original Shinobi is a really good game. It's also a good title screen. Look at this. He's ninja. He's looking left and right. Going after Keno. Oh, that's right, yes. This game also has FM, so I forgot about that. So let's. Listen to the normal PSG audio first, and then we'll go back to FM. Cool game. It's a B button to shoot or attack. Up and down plus A to change planes. Goal is to save the children. 
Whoop. So there's nothing else down there. Whoop. This game's good. Original Shinobi is legit. A legit good game. Well, this guy protects himself when he's holding his boomerang, so... Now we've got my sword. Stronger physical attack at close range. Got him. Okay. Longer health bar, but doesn't fit it. Doesn't fill the health bar. Got him. Suck it. Wah, yeah, that's good timing. Bonus stage. Oh, he's always been bad at the bonus stage. Okay. So I just, just, just go this way. And this guy doesn't even turn around. He just stays there. The original Shinobi arcade game was kind of nuts, because you straight up had a fucking gun in that game. Like, Joe Musashi looked around... Ugh. See, I suck at that minigame, I just can't do it. When you upgraded your uh, your weapon, you got like an, like an SMG or something, it was weird. Okay, so yeah. The weird Marilyn Monroe pictures. Whoa. Suck it. Spider Man up there is waiting for me to make a move. Whoa. Fuck. Fuck off, Spider Man. <laughs> Can't tell me that's not Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Cool. Now it's time to fight the first boss and then we'll check out the FM music. <laughs> Shoot him in the eye. Your aim has to be pretty amazingly... Uh, uh. Got him. Suck it, Kenno. Okay, so let's go settings, audio. No. Oh, I like, yeah, the second, uh, second boss is a helicopter, which is weird. Okay, um, corruptions, FM chip. Restart the cartridge. Let's do that again. Let's do the first half of that again. Ow. Punch that motherfucker. So the gun guys turn around, but the, um... 
This this game's loud. Oh my god. Minus twelve decibels. This is a really loud game. Minus minus fourteen decibels. Okay. Minus fourteen decibels. Pretty good. It's a good rendition of the music. Whoa. He does walk backwards though. Bonus stage again that I'm terrible at. Wah! Okay, sweet. I don't like that. That doesn't sound very good. Oh, here we go again. This one? No, it's here. Duck it. Ugh. Fuck. No. Can't do it. I failed. Anyway, Shinobi One. Good game. Works just fine on the Mega SG. Then again, I had a feeling it would. Now, moving on to the S's, there are some surprisingly good ports of games that you would traditionally think of as Mega Drive games, but the Master System got some okay ports. Uh, also, some of them are really bad, for example, E-SWAT and Altered Beasts, but I happen to really like the Master System version of Sonic the Hedgehog. I think this game is cool. It's got a good soundtrack, good physics. Although this is gonna, uh, it's got a little bit of a funky frame rate, I will say. The performance in this game is not, not amazing. However, the composer for this game did an incredible job writing the music. This might be some of the best music on the Master System, just straight up. Just This is just good. I had this game when I was younger for the Game Gear. Hang on. Increase the volume a little bit. This game's not as loud as Shinobi was. Let's increase it to... Minus 12 decibels. Still a bit quiet. Okay, how about minus 11? I'm trusting you, game, to not suddenly get super loud on me. The Master System version is exactly the same as the Game Gear version, except um, because the Game Gear has a smaller... Whoa, shit! Don't want to be here. Has a smaller native resolution. Uh, all the sprites are kept the same size, but, you know, you can't see that far around yourself in the level. Master System version, you can see much further because the the higher resolution. Ooh, no, I do like this game. This is actually my favourite Sonic game for the Master System. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. Guess we won't see the bonus. Guess we won't see the bonus level. 
Try again. I think Sonic Master System Sonic 2 is fine, and I think Sonic Chaos is fine. I will admit that Sonic 2 and Sonic Chaos have much better performance in this game. But I don't think the music's nearly as good. I don't like the, um, the feel of the jump in those games, like this one. Anyway, that could just be my, my nostalgia talking because this is the one I grew up with. Please don't die. Not again. That'd be embarrassing. I like to think I'm pretty okay at this game, so it'd be really embarrassing if I die twice. Oh no, wait, don't forget the life. There we go. Still not going to get to see the... Um... Oh, I'm going to hit that checkpoint. Still not going to get to see the bonus level, which is fine by me. It's a pretty bad bonus level. Sonic games go. <laughs> Motherfucker! Biggie. I also think this game looks pretty good. It's got good use of colour for a Master System game. Alright. I want that. The one thing that's different in this game is that you don't get the Chaos Emeralds from the bonus levels. The Chaos Emeralds are just straight up hidden in the levels. So you have to kind of go out your way and do a little bit of exploring to find them. Which I, I kind of prefer to the standard bonus level structure. Ooh, no, let's, let's, let's just in case, let's... Um, Let's get this checkpoint. There we go. Okay. So it's up here. If I remember correctly, it's not this one. It's the next one. Nope! Oh. Don't jump. No, it's... it's. Hang on. It's the next one. And then we're going to go down again. Yep, there it is. Flickering away. It's the first Chaos Emerald. Oh, fuck. My fault, really. And he's respawn, I think. No? Okay, the Buzz Bomber's gone. So I've got to be careful. No bonus level again, which is fine. Who cares? They're annoying anyway. First boss, and then we'll move on. This game's got good boss music. I like this boss music. This first boss is incredibly easy. He kind of just goes back and forth across the top of the screen, and that's it. Uh, he's 
easier in the Game Gear version because the resolution of the screen means in order for him to fit on screen he has to be a lot lower, which means you can just hit him as he's going backwards and forwards. Uh, the higher resolution of the Master System ver version means he can kind of get further away from you. You can still hit him, but your jumps have to be pixel perfect. Uh, but yeah, typically on the Master System version, you just got to wait for him to come down and then jump on his head. But in the Game Gear version, he won't even get an opportunity to attack, because you can just hit him immediately. See, the sprite looks like it hits, but... Ugh, it doesn't, actually. Ugh. Okay, here he comes. This easy. It may in fact be the easiest Robotnik boss ever. There's a surprising lack of flickering in, in, in this game. At least I, I feel like there is. Oh, this song's great. Little spiky pig man. I think my favourite song in the whole game, though, is uh, Jungle. The jungle music is fantastic. But whatever. That's. Let's just move on. Good game. I like. Master System Sonic 1 a lot. Alright, now let's move on to Master System Sonic 2. I don't like this game as much. I also had this game for the Game Gear as well, but I found it harder and so therefore didn't play it as much. So I had very little patience for hard games when I was little. Sonic's sprite got redrawn for this version. They didn't go with the sprite from the, uh, the first game. Oh, fuck. God damn. Oh, there goes the minecart. Great. Doing excellently already. This game's got uh, vehicles, which is interesting. So you've got the minecarts in this level. I think there's a level later on where you get hang gliders, if I remember correctly. Ugh. Let's just, just, just go with the fuck. God damn it! Fuck! Controls, not as responsive in this game, I find, personally. Oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. again. Yeah, that's a trap. <laughs> oh god. It's been a little while since I last 
played this one. Fuck! So I do not have the layout of the levels burned into my brain like I did the first game. Oh, that's good. Wait, is there a thing? No, there's not a secret down there. Unlike Mega Drive Sonic 2, this game does not have a spin dash. Spin dash doesn't come until the third Sonic game. Sonic Chaos, I believe. It's pretty sure it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sonic Chaos has a spin dash. No! Ugh. Motherfucker! Just... Alternating speed. Okay. okay is... I forget, is it Act 2 where the boss is, or is there an Act... I think there might be an Act 3 for the boss. Ugh. Risking it. boss is like those weird pincers. You just gotta avoid going into the pincers and then the bombs being dropped on you. And basically just stay alive. Just avoid the bombs, let them bounce down the hill and hit the pincers. Pretty basic. And again, it would be if this game had uh, ugh, responsive controls and not these controls that are a little bit stiff. Okay, here we go. I do like the boss music in this game as well. Okay, got to be careful because he's dead. Okay, no, he's... Okay. Just let you know, the boss music in this version of the game is different to what it is in the Game Gear version. The Game Gear version has completely different boss music. Yeah, pincers. Just literally just avoid the bombs. Let the bombs smack into the pincers. And after six or eight or so, you will die. Robotnik just smashes into it like an idiot. Yeah. Quick look at the start of the next area. Yeah, here we go, the hang gliders. Bit Sonic 2 is not bad. Now, this is the one I know the least about.
This is Sonic Chaos, aka 8 bit Sonic 3. If it's going to run. Nope, not going to run. Fine, be that way. Let's give you a scrub. Propanol evaporates very quickly, which is good. Once again, they've redrawn Sonic Sprite again. plays Tails for the first time on the Master System. Let's keep going with Sonic. slow down on this one. Oof. Whoa. Rocket shoes. Fuck. <laughs> Made extremely poor use of those. And holy shit, we have loop-to-loops. And corkscrews. The iconic landscape feature <laughs> that was missing from both 8-bit Sonic 1 and 8-bit Sonic 2 finally show up in Sonic Chaos. There were no loop-de-loops in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 for the Master System, which is crazy, because what's the first thing you think of when you think of Sonic the Hedgehogs? You think of the loops, right? At least that's the first thing I think of. I'm gonna ride this back up. Blah. What's up here? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, we do. We've got Spin Dash. No, you don't, boy. Fuck. Alright, I have no recollection of what the first boss is in this game. No recollection at all. <laughs> that was dumb, why did I do that?
It's a very underwhelming boss. Spin dash him in the face. It's not even Robotnik, it's just... Just an extra large moto bug. Anyway. That's Sonic Chaos. Seems fine. Alright. What's this? Alright. This one doesn't have a, um, a case, so... I'm just going to put it in. This is... The Master System port of Streets of Rage. Again, a game everyone thinks of as a as a Mega Drive game has this has a surprisingly a surprisingly decent port on the Master System. This game works better than it should. Yuzo Koshiro's soundtrack also has a excellent conversion to the Master System sound chip. Okay. <laughs> so we'd fade out and fade back in. 1993, yeah. Okay. Normal, we're going to play as my favourite character, Adam. I've always said, since Adam, by default, is the first character selected on the character select screen on Streets of Rage 1, in my eyes, that technically makes him the main character. <laughs> so, A button to jump, B button to punch. You can't, uh... Oh yeah, I think you've got to, um... To use your special, you've got to pause first, then hit the punch button. Which I won't do, until I need to. All moves are accounted for, including that sick suplex. I love suplexing motherfuckers in this game. It looks great. Suplex. I still can't believe they took the suplex out of Streets of Rage 2. There is a Master System version of Streets of Rage 2 as well. I have not played it. I don't know if it's as good as this. Suplex. Bottle. Fuck off. You don't get the... I'm gonna glass you, you motherfuckers. Stab you with my Glasgow knife. Uh-oh. I think now's a good time to test... Oh no, hang on. Suplex. No, another suplex. Let's do it. Let's go, boy. Well, I took those guys out a lot easier than I thought I would. Okay, yeah, we're gonna. Okay. 
Alright. Hit attack button. That's how we do this. Yeah. Fuck off. Boss time? Oh no, do got dominatrixes. I have to kink shame these ladies. See what I mean? This is a surprisingly good version of Streets of Rage. I'm not going to try and tell you it's as good as the Mega Drive version. It's not. I don't think this version even supports two player. At least I don't think it does, no. I think the Master System version is one player only, but holy shit, this is... Like... This is not bad. It looks good, it sounds good, and it controls well. Dick, go on, piss off. Eat pipe. Okay, let's not leave that meat behind, let's... That's going to come down. Right, now we take the meat. Uh-oh. All dominatrixes. <laughs> Suplex! Suplex! Sorry, ladies. My kink is the Lord. And suplexes. Suplexing for Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Adam is a Christian. I have no idea. I just find the idea super funny. Suplex the boss. To half half his fucking health. Shit, can I get him? I can get him. Suck it. That's good. I think this is a really good port. It's a shame that it's only one player. Alright. Oops. Okay. Alright then, moving on to another shooter. This one is Submarine Attack. I think this game looks quite good. However, it is fucking rock hard. <laughs> This game is very difficult. I've never gotten past the first stage. So yeah, you're a submarine, you can shoot torpedoes with A, missiles with B. Hang on, turn down my speakers a little bit, I'm not sure if you're getting any feedback on that. Okay. Faster torpedoes now. Also, I think I maneuver a little bit faster. Auto fire now. That's right. Auto fire is an upgrade. 
Oh shit! You can take three hits, but... Enemy shots move so fast it can be a little bit difficult to... Got some health. It can be a little bit difficult to avoid them. Get that helicopter. I think this game looks pretty good. It's nice and colourful. The music's whatever. Fuck, okay. That boat took three missiles. No, nope, that boat took four missiles and it's still afloat. Maybe you're not supposed to destroy them? Hmm. Don't want to go too low, so I don't know. More auto fire. Oh! Shoot two missiles now. I don't know if the bu bubbles hurt you. I don't want to risk it. Knowing this game, they probably do. I'm kind of amazed I haven't died yet. And I have just jinxed myself, and apparently it takes six missiles to destroy that big boat. Are we coming up on the boss? We might be coming up on the boss. I like staying near the surface because I think that's where all the, the power-ups come from. Yeah, first boss. Oh no, it's a Russian... Russian base! Oh god! Destroy these turrets. It's a big old red star on the side of that base, so it must be Russian. This might be the first time I've ever made it to level 2, actually. Holy shit! Another speed upgrade. At least I think that's what it is. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that little submarine's got a red star on it. They've all got little red stars on They're adorable. Oh yeah, the bubbles do hurt you. Huh? Oh, I missed it. Whoa! Okay, I'm flashing. One more hit and I'm dead. Okay. Power up ship. Auto fire that I don't need because I can only have two torpedoes and two missiles on screen at once. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's giving me a points bonus. Uh oh, we've got falling rocks. We have falling rocks. I wonder if the power ups are context sensitive. I wonder if you only get health power-ups if, if the game knows you've taken damage. Let's find out. No? Hmm. Helicopters. Oh, okay, let's try the next one if we survive. No, no. Okay, it was just luck before. It's the first time I died, my god. Anyway, submarine attack. That, that game's good. That game's pretty good. I think of all the shooters I own, I think this is my favourite. At least all the Master System shooters I own. Anyway. I think I cleaned this cartridge yet, so I'll give this one a quick scrub just in case, because knowing my luck, it won't start. 
even though it spends all its time in the fucking box, so there's no reason anything should ever get on the contacts, but there we go. Oh, just a quick uh, aside. Um, the first Master System video I did... Uh, <laughs> I played uh, the Master System version of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker in that video, and uh, yeah, it turns out um, the incredibly shitty 8-bit rendition of Smooth Criminal that plays totally got flagged <laughs> as Smooth Criminal. Which is fucking nuts to me, because it's not even the proper song. It's like a low... like it's, And it's the Master System version, but yet, no, that totally got recognised as Smooth Criminal. So now, if any ads appear on that video... It's not because I've put them there. I don't put ads on my videos unless I've got no choice. So, yeah, if you see an ad for that video, that's because the 8-bit Smooth Criminal cover got flagged, which is nuts to me. I'm amazed they care. You know, holy shit! Someone's illegally putting up the version of Smooth Criminals on that fucking Master System Michael Jackson game. Can't have this. Anyway, this is Summer Games by Epix. This is a game that was originally a Commodore 64 game and then because it was those uh, winter games which was a very popular Commodore 64 game. I used to have it, actually. Well, my dad used to have Winter Games. I remember playing it when I was, like, four or five. And then this was the sequel, Summer Games. And then I believe they did a third game, World Games. Okay, compete in all the events. Compete in one event. Practice one event. That's compete in all events. I am... Blue! Oh wow, fucking straight up Soviet Union flag. <laughs> I mean, it's a sign of the times, right? You know, it's... Um, got USA, Japan, Great Britain, France, East Germany. That's right, we're still in the Cold War when this game came out. Fucking East Germany. Not West Germany, just East Germany. Greece, China, and the USSR. That's nuts to me. <laughs> I don't know what our salute is. Is it the open palm or is it the... I'm pretty sure that, that's the American salute. I'm pretty sure our salute is this. It's the open palm. Player 2. There is no player 2. Wait, no. Done. Okay, uh, my copy doesn't have instructions, so... I don't know what the controls are going to be. <laughs> There's only two buttons on the Master System controller, so it can't be that complicated. Four meters is the world record. Try this jump. Oh no, four meters is just the um, low pole grip, high pole grip. I have no idea what the difference is. High pole grip. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay. Yes. High pole grip. Fault. <laughs> I don't know how! I don't know how! New heights. Try this jump. Yes. Let pole grip. So I press down. That sets the pole. And... No, I just... It just says fault. Next event, 1,000 meters. This one should be easy, it should just be hitting the button as fast as possible. It's 
qualified. Let me dash. Oh, did I just straight up miss all of that? I guess we're not doing the 100 meter dash. I'm doing really poorly at this. I've always had trouble doing these Olympic sports style games. Just, the controls are never clear. International track and field, I can understand, because that's... I can play international track and field. Okay. Mm. Score. Zero. <laughs> Platform diving. Forward dive. Cannonball. <laughs> Again, I don't know what's... What do they want? The buttons just don't seem... Uh, I think it's my fault for not having a... Cannonball! The guy on the second from the left seems to like cannonballs. He's still giving me 4.3s. Pretty generous. The reverse dive. I have no idea. Actually, I want to... I want to try that 100 meter dash again. the Soviet Union theme song. Great Soviet Republic. How do you mean a freestyle? So we've got to wait for the gunshot. Okay. Okay, you've got to alternate between A and B. This is pretty easy. This is this I can understand. This is just pretty hard on the wrist though. <coughs> Holy shit. Ran the 100 meters in 8.7 seconds. In real life, that's kind of amazing. Yep. Anyway, that's Summer Games. I wish I knew how to play it. bit version of Super Monaco GP. Last I remembered, this is also a good version of Super Monaco GP. One player. When I was very little, I used to pronounce Grand Prix as Grand Pricks. When I had this game for the Game Gear. But I know, I know better now. Is type type two, I guess. Engine a V10, V8, V8, Frenzy V12. I don't know what the difference is. 
V8 tyres. Mm, middle? Yes, this is the weird thing. This game always displays in two players, in, 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 in two player mode. Uh, even when you're playing single player, it's <coughs> it's still split screen, which is kind of weird. And the gun. Um, I love there's like advertising boards on the side of the track with the uh, Japanese mu uh, the Japanese Mega Drive logo on it. Oh god. Itch. Oh, brakes! I believe the Game Gear version didn't have split scheme if I remember correctly. The Game Gear version was pretty much just what you know, single view. Can I make any changes in pause? Nope. Oh god, brakes! Uh, my brakes don't seem to be working very well. Oh god, brakes! What is wrong? I'm trying to brake and it's just not working. I'm just not slowing down. Maybe it's just one of those things where you have to be braking long before you actually get to the corner, maybe. Maybe it's trying to be like real F1. Where it's like, yo, brake before the corner, not not on it. Yeah, now we're picking up some speed. Brakes, brakes, down to about a hundred, and twenty, hundred and thirty. Nope, oh, you just spin out. <laughs> okay. We'll finish one lap and then we'll move on. Brakes, you shit. Oh god. Tire skidding noise is a warning that I'm moving too fast, I expect. Okay, back down again to about a hundred and... hundred, no, too late. I'm doing really bad. I'm half the track behind the guy in second place. Okay, brake again. Yeah, you really do have to brake long before you get to the corner. And even if you're far away from the edge of the track, if you're going too fast, you just spin out. Which is not a feature in the Mega Drive version. Or the Game Gear version. I believe that's a thing that only happens in the Master System version. I could be wrong, although I don't think I am. Anyway. Oh dear. Alright. Ooh, this one's got a white label. This one thinks it's special. Another shooter. This is Super Space Invaders. Is that a real hardware check or was that a fake hardware check for the game? Probably a fake one.
Don't fail us. Please stand by. <laughs> this is your tank. I like how they're they're trying to give like lore and like lore and like tech information to fucking space invaders. Alien hardware. Four files found. The Octo. A laser guard shield. Are these the bosses? I don't know if these are bosses or the regular enemies. These might be the bosses. Yeah, so this game has bosses. Which is kind of nuts. Yep. 100% the bosses. Check out that uh, that alien ship <laughs> in the bottom right. It's got an angry face on it. Developed by the Kremlin. What? <laughs> Ooh, some Starfield effects on the Master System, no less. And I'm not seeing any flicker either. When did this come out? It says 91 on the back of the box. Advanced, normal, advanced. Let's go normal first. game's kind of cool. So you can choose... It's got like Outrun style um, level progression. Or I guess Outrun slash Gradius. Not Gradius. Uh, the Darius. Outrun slash Darius style level progression. Oh, missed. And this is totally Space Invaders. It's got a fresh coat of paint, but it's Space Invaders. <gasps> uh, yes! Eat shit. I've got a shield, so I can take a few hits. And as you destroy ships, it gets faster. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> got him. Round two. Oh, these ones are different. You shoot them, and then they just kind of just go down. Ah, missed again. Oh god, here we go. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Got him. Alright. How does this one work? Okay. Certain enemies take two shots to kill, or three shots even, to kill. Got him. What's this? What's this doing me? Shield up. Okay, we've got shields. some of the alien shots, but not all of them. Shit. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck! God 
damn it! <laughs> cool game over screen, I'll give it that. Let's reset and try advanced mode. Oh, please don't make me go through the whole thing again. No, it won't. you can play um, two players simultaneous if the right of the screen is to be believed. That sounds pretty crazy. Two player simultaneous space invaders. Sounds like a thing that might be fun. So far this seems less advanced than the uh, normal mode. You got to pick your level in the normal mode. Whiffing! Fuck. Oh, crap. I got him, though. It appears to be just the same. Come to me. Oh shit. We've now got the bunkers. Got him. The bunkers do not last forever though. It is. Shield up. Don't miss because then you. Takes you a long time to f before you can. Got him. Lucky you can just crash into him at the end to just take him out. Assault course. I <gasps> uh, can't catch up with it. Oh, God. Crash into him, take him out. Anyway, still dead. Super Space Invaders. It's Space Invaders with a little bit of extra flair. Alright. Now for something of much lower quality. This is another shooter. This this is Transbot. And going by the the name and the art on the front of the box, it's about Nazi transgender robots. Because you can see that little off-brand Optimus Prime there is doing the is 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 hailing his Fuhrer. This game is something else. 1986. Wow. It's an extremely early Master System game. So it's, this game's got uh, an interesting power-up system. Oh god. Where it starts flashing and then you press B very quickly to select which one you want. You've got to time it if you want the one you want. Lucky 
this game has a health bar. Oh shit. Don't crash into the van, you gotta shoot the van. Big difference. Okay, now we're fighting tiles. I would like another power up, please. This A1 sucks. There's an, there's an attempt here at um, some parallax, but it's not quite working. What's E? Oh, E makes us a robot. We have a three-way shot, but it's very short range. Shit! And we're dead. No, uh, no invulnerable state in this game. You just take damage as enemies smash into you. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, we got robot again. Sick. I think the robot's one of the better weapons. You don't upgrade the weapons at all, you just pick between them. I, f I forget what most of them are. I think one of them's... You fire him behind you as well. One of them you fire um, like a V in like a V pattern. Slightly up and slightly down. I think one gives you like a missile drop, like a, um, a Darius style missile drop. Yeah, it's um... Yeah. It's a little basic for my taste, Transbot. I only like, I mean, I, I primarily like Transbot because it's got a fucking ridiculous cover art. It's like, okay. And it's obviously trying to um, position itself as an off-brand Transformers game, which is funny. Alright, next game. Speaking of great cover art, this is Vigilante. Look at that dude with the nunchucks. It's great cover art. It's a shame the game's not very good. Okay, this game has... FM sound, so let's turn that off. Reboot the cartridge. By IREM. This is made by the um, the R-Type people. Okay. It's up to you to defend your turf. Will do. Oh no! The rogues have taken Maria. Only you can get her back. So this is not particularly great. But it's better than uh, something like My Hero. I like that ice cream up the top there that's just flexing. Saying, ugh, big. Fuck off. If guys get close enough to grab you, they will just drain your health. Get off me. Oh my god, get off! It's difficult, they, they stagger their attacks, you can't really... Hmm. Anyway. Let's... re-enable FM, and reboot the cartridge.
Oh my god, just, just... The range is so short and the enemies move so fast that it's, it's difficult to time your attacks. I like how like two enemies will just spawn equidistant away from you on either side, and so you're just fucked. <laughs> you can't get out of their grasp. You have to press both buttons to jump. I'm just getting f just juggled. Just getting juggled. Yeah, this game's not very good. Vigilante. I like its cover art, not its gameplay so much. Okay, closing in on the last few games now. This is Wolf Child. Now, a while ago, we looked at the um, the Mega CD version of this game. game also came out on Master System. It's a very clean looking Virgin logo. Kind of a standard um, action platformer. Nothing that particularly amazing. Well, this looks okay. Was, this is. This seems quite quiet. Very quiet game. Let's turn it up a little bit. Uh, let's go to minus nine. Fucking just <sighs> the range in your attack is very short. Turn into this hot wolf man. Fuck. Okay. Go. My first boss is Miss This Barrel Man. Hot action. Jump over the barrel, shoot him with your wolf fists. So we beat that guy. Oh, we can't get, we can't get behind him.
again. Some hot action here. Oh no, we've lost our our wolf powers. We have to punch it. No music. There's no music in this game. It's very quiet. The Mega CD version has actually got some pretty okay music, but this is totally silent. Oh shit. Now we've got Ugh, finding Hawkman. Whoop, fuck. Damn it. Just as man, man, we are underpowered. Man, man cannot hope to defeat Hawkman with just his fists alone, surely. Oh, we can, though. Because touching Hawkman doesn't actually hurt you. Just getting shot by him. So if you just stay behind him... Huh. Okay, it seems like a bit of an exploit, but alright. Yeah, touching him doesn't hurt you. You can just go behind him and he doesn't turn around. Huh. There's a hot password there if anyone wants it. So you too can play stage two of Wolf Child for the Master System. Oh god, just get off the ledge. Ow. Ah, oh, that's right, this fucking level. This level's a nightmare. It's a pain in the ass. It's just filled with weird hidden enemies and it's it's like a labyrinth. Ugh. Anyway. Wolf Child seems technically competent, if a little boring. Okay. Okay, we're over two hours now, so let's pick up the pace. Alright, now how about a a good quality platformer. This is the original Wonder Boy. Eighty seven. This is a good game. Have to hold down have to hold down the B button in order to fuck do the high jump, which is a bit silly. It's not controlled by how long you hold down the button, which is something I've always found a bit silly, but okay, that's the choices they make. Ooh. Bonus level! Don't collect the bags, collect the hearts. Okay, and then collect the bag. Bit flickery, I will say that. I had this game for the uh, Game Gear as well. Fuck! Oh, I need to fill up my energy bar up the top. It's slowly ticking down. Oh, sick. Invincibility. Fuck off, fire. Fuck off, rocks. Oh, I missed the doll bonus. So. Damn. I like this game. I think I've mentioned once before that I actually finished this game when I was younger. I, uh, I, again, like I said, I used to have the Game Gear version, which is essentially the same as this. And, um... Oh shit. 
Oh god! We've got six skateboards. Fuck. In hindsight, maybe having a skateboard on this level is not such a great idea. Oh great. What do you do? Oh. Try one more time. I won't hold down the run button this time, how about that? Fuck. You slide. <laughs> Every surface is like ice. Where does it put me? Oh, no. No, we're moving on. I like Wonder Boy, it's very good. Okay. Now for the sequel, where things get weird. This is Wonder Boy in Monster Land, and it is possibly contender for the silliest looking box art in the entire Master System catalogue. You can't see it from here, but that dude on the cover has the freakiest face. You should look it up on Google. Type in Wonder Boy in Monsterland Master System and look at this fucking box art. It is something else. So this game the second game is very different. This game also has FM, so I very quickly turn it off. So instead of a very basic um, action platformer, you're this little man in armor. Hey, brave man! Whatever you say, purple vampire. Okay. So yeah, we're, this is a... This is an action RPG. This, this one is... This used to be an arcade game. Yeah, there was an arcade game that was an action RPG. Ale or mead? Nope. No alcohol for me. I don't need it. Because that guy just gives you hints to the locations of secrets. Oh my god. You want to collect the money, and then you can use the money... You pick up... Come on, you fuck! Oh, shit. Okay, I got him. Oh, shit. Trying to jump over the key. You really need to collect as much money as you can, because... You need the upgrades. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to beat the game in the time limit they give you. Because <laughs> I believe in the original arcade game you could put more money in to um, increase your timer. Which is kind of nuts. Hmm. Do you want the... Leather boots or the cloth boots? We'll go for the cloth boots. Now we've got nice little pink boots. No. Uh, we can't afford a shield. How much is a shield though? 40, 40 gold. Bombs or whirlwind spell? 
Whoop. Time. Oh god. You don't have a shield, so... Fuck! Fucking die already! The whole, um, honestly, the whole time limit aspect of this game is what ruins it. Oh, I've got a life potion. Uh, the next game, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, which I believe got a remake a couple years ago. It's a good game. Um, refines the controls a little bit and, um... Someone be beyond the wall, and uh, takes away the, uh, the time limit, so you can just go at your own pace. The main problem with this game is that you constantly feel like you just gotta be going. Oh my god, I can't! Fuck. See, if I had the more expensive leather boots, I could jump higher. Because I don't, I've got these cheap little cloth boots. Fuck. I can't jump high enough to just jump out of the lava. Oof. Just barely made that. Shit! You motherfucker, come on! I don't think there are any continues. I think if you die, it just dumps you at the title screen. Yep. Wonder Boy Monsterland. Not a great game, but um, a sign of better things to come. All right. Who likes golf? Oh my god. Ugh. This case. Oh, my goodness. This case is very tight. There we are. This is... World Class Leaderboard Golf. This is another game that I also had for my Game Gear. And I remember this game having some pretty terrible sounding voice samples in it. Quiet. So Andrews, Doral, Cypress Creek. Go to St. Andrews. One player. A. End. Can't be asked. Novice. This is a surprisingly okay golf game, I think. Oh, fuck that up. So he'll talk if you um, you get like a, a hole in one or a birdie or an eagle. Uh, he'll talk if you land the ball in a sand trap or in the water. Oh god. I've got to try and remember how the power bar works now. So you hold it down to build power. Not good. Oh no, we did okay. It's on the green. I like how it draws in the um, the course. Too much power. Yep. Yeah, okay, I get it. Move on. Too little power. Fuck's sake. Um, 
hang on just one moment. Okay, where were we? Trying to get this fucking ball in the hole. Oh, wait. I keep thinking you tap the button. No, you got to hold it down. I am many shots over par now. <laughs> no. Fuck's sake, come on. Ugh. Ten shots. Plus six. Great start. See if I can hit it into a sand trap to make him talk. Oh. Okay, that was weird, but all right. Stop. Okay. So this game doesn't draw um, elevation grids on its course, but I want to say elevation is there, because that ball just totally decided to go to the right for some reason, so I'm assuming there's meant to be a slope there. For oh, God's sake, I thought it went in then. Got it. Come on, um, sound trap. Perfect hit, yes. No doubt about it, that's deep in the sand trap. Yeah. Looks like you hit it into a sand trap. At least I think that's what he said. It's so garbled, I can barely fucking understand it. Ooh, just on the edge of the green. Stop! You shit! <laughs> okay. Get this ball in the hole and then we'll do our last game. If we ever get it in the hole. Fuck's sake. I wish I had a more close up view of uh, the putting angle than this. There we go. Got it. Yeah, that's um, World Class Leaderboard. There's another golf game uh, I had for the Game Gear, but I can't remember what it was called. It was like an... It was an isometric mini-golf game. And I don't remember what it was called, but I really liked it. But I think it also came out for the Master System. I'm going to try and find it. I need to do some research to see if I can figure out what it was. All I remember that it was, it was mini golf, and it was played from like an isometric perspective. And you had to hit like there were switches and moving platforms and conveyor belts. It was cool. All right. Final game. Oh, did I just? Remove the cartridge, whoops, without turning it off. <laughs> this is a shooter. This is Xenon 2, or Xenon 2, however you want to pronounce it. I like to say Xenon. This is by the Bitmap Brothers. This is not a good version. I think visually it's doing some interesting things with the Master System hardware, but the game itself is uh, not much fun to play. The 
this game suffers from pretty atrocious slowdown. Oh god! And also weird flickering. Oh my fucking Christ. It's a good thing you got a health bar because, oh my god. Space bones. See, when there's no enemies on the screen, it moves quite alright, but the moment you put enemies on the screen, it all seizes up and slows down and goes to the halt goes to a halt. Hmm? Also, what's with the weird full screen flickering? It's very distracting. I like how it's going for like a depth effect, like a parallax effect with the stars in the background. I think that looks kind of neat. Fucking Christ. So slow. Whoops. At least it starts you where you left off. See, right now the frame rate's not too bad, but as soon as enemies come on screen, it's just like, oh, sludge city. Well, okay, that's not fair. They came out of the bottom of the screen right where I was. I had no chance. Oh god, there's so much flickering. This was... what was this? This was an Amiga game. I think... Uh, also? Oh shit, shit! Maybe Commodore 64? And also, um, Mega Drive. The Mega Drive version of this is much better. At least it, it performance is much better. I, I can't really. I don't think this this the, the game itself is that good, to be honest. But at least it has a better frame rate on the Mega Drive. I like how the music restarts every time you lose a life. Classy. Just the full screen flicker is just oof. See if we can get to a boss. Can't even destroy them. Ugh. You can't get close enough. Oh, you can just kind of reverse a little bit. I like that. So you can if you really want to. It's not. It's not enough to save my opinion on this game. Come over here, you fucker. So it's weird. It looks like I'm missing him because the bullets go through him, but you are you are doing damage to him. At least those turrets on the side. Oh, two! I want that! Oh, it's moving the same fucking speed as I am. Oh my god. Weapon upgrade. Holy shit. more shots on screen though, that's the problem. Fucking Christ! You couldn't spawn anywhere else, could you? Okay, left or right? Let's go left again. Cyber Beetles. Oh, so much slow down. Holy shit. I wonder if getting rid of the star field would have made this game perform better. Like, I think trying to do that parallax thing might be 
not worth it. <laughs> I mean, I like the fact that you did background parallax on on the master system. That's cool and all, but if it's if it's that's what's contributing to the bad. Um, and that's it. We ran out of lives. We got to the boss and then we immediately died. runs just fine, I guess. Xenon 2. Alright. And with that, that is the last of my Master System games. Next time we shall be taking a look at the Mega CD, finally. I've uh, I've got the least number of games for that. I've got like fifteen or so, which is not a huge number. But uh, we'll look at both models of Mega CD. I want to see what the compatibility is with the uh, save cartridge because I've got one of those. Whether this thing supports Mega CD save cartridges and a couple of other things as well. Anyway. Thank you for putting up with me for well over two hours. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.